Good morning everyone. How are you all? Hope you are all fine at your home. This is your English teacher, Mr. Ismail. Welcome back to our grammar classes. And in our grammar classes, the most important topic which we were concentrating, the topic name is voices. Whereas my dear friends, in the previous class, we were concentrating towards the future tense. And in future tense especially, we were concentrating towards the simple future tense. In case, if the active voice examples are there in the simple future tense, while changing it into passive voice, it will convert future continuous tense. And in future simple future to future continuous tense, when we were changing from active to passive voice, there we have noticed the three different forms of a senten uh, sentences we have discussed. So one, assertive sentences, two examples we have noticed, then again, negative sentences to examples we have noticed by adding not and all then afterwards we have noticed the two examples of interrogative and while dropping out the class of yesterday's i had given you some homework to solve those homeworks or to solve those questions and send me back whereas a few of you have sent me and still some more students are not at all sending so please send the homework whatever it is assigning to you so in today's class we are going to concentrate towards the future perfect tense in active wise and in passive wise when we are converting it will become the future perfect continuous tense so in your mind you may have a question so soon after the simple future tense next tense is future continuous tense but by skipping the future continuous tense you are Note, you are going to discuss about the future perfect tense in active voice. How come? The question may be there in your mind. And for that question, my dear children, the answer is very simple. In our previous class, we have discussed that there are four tenses which cannot change from active to passive. The tense number one, present perfect continuous tense, a reason I have told you. Will I have been, been it is been, oh sorry, have been it is there, been plus V1 plus ING. So because of the two forms of a continuation, we cannot change, I have told you. So another one is, had been, I mean to say, the past perfect continuous tense. It will also not change from active to passive wise. Then again, third one is future continuous tense. Because there we can find that uh, uh, will be plus ing and such kind of the words will be there will be plus v1 plus ing so because of the two ing or two uh, continuation forms uh, we cannot change it from active to passive wise uh, then at lastly the fourth one is a future perfect continuous tense so these are the four tenses cannot change from active to passive wise not only the four tense even along with the four tense there are some uh, verbs are there which cannot change from active to passive wise as I have told you the intransitive form of a verb or in easy manner if you want to understand I can say you that uh, the verb which carries along with it uh, any prepositions uh, to by sorry to by so such kind of the prepositions if any verb it carries along with it that also cannot change I am going to Bangalore so the Bangalore is gone by me I cannot say these things okay because two it is there so going plus two verb plus two or verb plus preposition it is there so because of uh, such reasons some of the verbs cannot change or intransitive form of a verbs cannot change or stative verbs cannot change from active to passive so let's concentrate towards the next tense which we were concentrating in active to passive is future perfect tense but before moving ahead, I just want to, I just request everyone. So please press the bell icon button or subscribe button, subscribe the video. So that whatever the classes we are doing soon after uploading, it will reach to your home. Let's concentrate towards the future perfect tense in active wise. And while changing it into passive wise, it will convert future perfect continuous tense. But before moving ahead, towards the future perfect tense or future perfect continuous tense we need to understand what's exactly the meaning of future perfect tense then future perfect continuous tense the definitions we have to understand then only it will be easy for us to change from active to passive wise 
So for making you to be understand in a better manner, here I have drawn a timeline. Hope you are understanding about the timeline. Whereas in the previous class, I have drawn the timeline and through the timeline, I try to make you to understand about uh, the tense definition. So here the timeline I have drawn and uh, in this timeline, let me give a beginning point uh, for that I am giving a letter called A. Then again, for the second point, I am calling it as a B. And for the third point, I am calling it as a C. So then what's the meaning of the future perfect tense? So that we have to understand here. The future perfect tense, it says, or the meaning of the tense is, the work, it has started in the past and ended in the present. The work which has started in the past and it's ended right now, it's completed right now. And after finishing this work, the future, in future, we are planning for another work by the specific time or with the help of a specific duration. So there we are calling it as a future perfect tense. For example, SSLC classes, it is going to start, we are planning that, okay, as per the government rules and all, let us assume, okay, let us imagine that if the SSLC classes are starting in the month of September, September month, if the SSLC classes are starting, then in our mind, it is in the future, okay? It is going to start, going to be, okay? It is going to be. So, in a sense, in future, we are discussing. In the month of September, at any date, it may be the 25, 21, 30, whatever the dates are there. On that date, if it is starting in the month of September, then our planning will be from the September to next September. It means one year, the children are going to study about the SSLC. We are discussing about the future, but with the specific time duration with the specific time duration it started in the month of september of 2020 and it's going to get an end on the september month 2021 so we can understand that specific time duration is there which we are discussing about the future so there we are using future perfect tense hope you are understanding the future perfect continuous tense in a sense uh, there is no time limit it has started in the month of uh, september 2020 don't know when it is going to get an end it is still continuing whether it can continue up to 2022 25 or 2030 35 there is no idea about the end so when we are having an idea about the end which is going to start the work which is going to start in the future and with the specific time it is ending that we can call as a future perfect and the work which is going to start in the future without any specific time duration that we can call it as a future perfect continuous tense. This is what the definition of future perfect and future perfect continuous tense. So now let's focus towards the active voice and passive voice in future perfect tense and future perfect continuous tense. Rule number one. In case if the sentences are given, the in case, if the active voice sentences are given in the future perfect tense, while changing it into passive voice, it will convert future perfect continuous tense. Rule number one, if the sentences are given in future perfect tense, while changing it into passive voice, it will convert future perfect continuous tense. Rule number one. Then rule number two, formula. The formula of See, the formula of a future perfect tense is subject plus shall or will plus have plus v3 plus object. Subject plus shall or will plus have plus v3 plus object. This is what the formula of a future perfect tense. Then while changing this sentence or this tense into passive wise, it will convert a future perfect continuous tense and future perfect continuous passive form or the passive voice of formula is object plus will have or shall will or shall plus have plus been plus v3 plus by plus a subject see one more time the future perfect tense of formula in active voice is subject plus a shall or will plus a have plus v3 plus object when we are changing it into passive wise it will become Future perfect continuous tense. The formula of a future perfect continuous tense in passive is object plus will have will or shall plus have plus been plus v3 plus by plus subject. Hope you are understanding. 
so let's concentrate towards the two examples of assertive sentences in active voice and passive voice so assertive sentence will notice that he will have received the letter he will have received the letter so it means the letter it has sent now or else uh, after one hour i am going to send a letter then this letter it, it, it would have been reached in his hand by nine o'clock six o'clock or the specific time we are maintaining so that because of that reason we have we are using okay he will have received the letter assertive sentence of uh, active voice in future perfect tense then while changing it into passive voice it will become the letter will have been received by him so see the formula subject he it is mentioned here then again will or shall we have to use so will is the suitable helping go so will we have used then again have mandatory then again v3 we have used here then at lastly object term so he will he will have received the letter subject plus will plus have plus v3 plus object next while changing it into passive voice it will become the letter will have been received by him so object first object plus will plus have plus been plus v3 plus by plus subject he will have received the letter it is in the active voice of a future perfect tense while changing it into passive voice it will become future perfect continuous tense passive the letter will have been received by him second example radha will have cooked food radha will have cooked food while changing it into passive voice it will become that food will have been cooked by radha radha will have cooked food while changing it into passive it will become the food will have been cooked by radha so these are the two examples of assertive sentences we have noticed or you can take any other examples you can take it out that uh, okay you will have started the class you will have started the class the class will have been started by you in such a manner you can change uh, any sentences by taking any other examples i have given only the two examples for make you to understand the uh, assertive sentence of uh, uh, active voice in future tense see one is he will have received the letter active voice passive voice is the letter will have been received by him second one radha will have cooked the food the passive voice is the food sorry food will will have been cooked by radha these two are in assertive sentences sir so now let's concentrate towards the two examples which are related to negative sentences sir let's concentrate as i have told you in the previous class if i want to make any sentence from positive to negative only a single letter is enough for changing it out what i have to use no not never neither nothing so among this any one you can use it out then definitely the sentence it will become as a negative so let's concentrate towards the negative sentence in active voice of a future perfect tense then we will change it into passive voice he will not have received the letter he will not have received the letter he will not have received the letter hope you might have remembered when we were discussing about the tenses i told you if you want to make if you want to change any sentences from positive to negative so only the thing you need to use not never such kind of the words you have to use that to in front of a helping verb so will is the helping verb and for the helping verb or against of the helping verb we have used not so automatically the sentence have become into negative he will not have received the letter negative sentence of active voice in future perfect tense passive voice negative sentence will be the letter will not have the letter will not have been received by him he will not have received the letter negative sentence of active voice in future perfect tense while changing it into passive voice it will become the letter will not have been received by him then again another second example of the negative sentence is radha will not have cooked the food radha will not have cooked the food so it is in the negative sentence of future perfect tense in active voice then will convert into passive voice future perfect continuous tense that see the food will not have been cooked by radha radha will not cooked the food food will not have been cooked by radha 
so these two examples of a negative sentences already we have noticed two examples of assertive sentence two examples of a negative sentence and at lastly remain the two more examples of a interrogative sentences in active voice of a future perfect tense in active voice okay so let's concentrate towards the interrogative sentence as i have told you very clearly in case if any active voice sentence it is going to begin with a word of s or no type of a questions or else a questioning word if it is beginning then passive voice will also be in the uh, questioning word only so let's see that will it is a questioning word or the helping verb in a sense uh, it will change it into s or no type of a questions okay will he have received the letter will he have received the letter it is in the interrogative of active voice in future perfect tense will change it into passive voice interrogative future perfect continuous tense let's see will the letter have been received by him c will he have received the letter question mark interrogative it is while changing it to passive voice it will become question to question word itself if the beginning word of active voice is questioning word then passive voice beginning word will also be in the questioning word itself as we have discussed already about the formulas will the letter have been received by him it is in the passive see active interrogative is will he have received the letter then passive interrogative is will the letter have been received by him next see another sentence will radha have cooked the food will radha have cooked the food while changing into interrogative passive form is will food have been cooked by radha will food have been cooked by radha so these are the examples of a future perfect tense uh, while changing into future uh, passive voice it will convert into future perfect continuous tense two examples of assertive sentence we have noticed two examples of a negative sentence and two examples of interrogative sentences uh, we have changed into passive form hope you are understanding the things in the next class we are going to discuss some of the intransitive form of a verbs which cannot change from active to passive why it will not change the much interesting class is on tomorrow okay so please till then stay safe at your home and moreover before leaving the class uh, as a homework you need to change the verbs like as uh, the interrogative to uh, see five examples change it out from the negative to uh, negative active voice to the negative passive voice then again interrogative active voice to interrogative passive voice and uh, assertive active voice to assertive passive voice uh, change it and send me back and uh, please subscribe the video don't forget to subscribe okay thank you